Okay, so in this tutorial, I will teach you how to make a simple pong game. If we press play, you can see that we can play the pong game. We have the right paddle, we have a left paddle. We move the paddles with uh, the keys on the keyboard. And every time the ball hits the paddles, um, the ball increases its velocity or speed. Okay, so this is the game that we'll be making. So to get started right away, what we need to do is that we need to create a new Unity project. So let's go here to try to download unity hub and once you download unity hub open it and now you will have to create a new project so click new let's select 2d because our game is going to be in 2d and for the name of the project let's name it uh, pong and here you can choose the location where you want to save the game and hit create so now unity will start creating a default template to make the game all right, so if this is the first time that you open Unity, you might not have this layout. So if you go here to, to the top where it says layout at the right and you click default, you might have something like this. But I prefer, it to, I prefer to have it in a different way. So what I do is that I drag the hierarchy to the right like this and I click, I select the game view and I drag it to the left. You can drag it by holding the left click. So you hold and you drag. And what we're going to do right now is that we're going to set the game. So to set the game, first of all, we're going to change the aspect ratio of the game. So here in the game view where it says free aspect, click here and change it to three by two. And now that we have changed it, we, we have, we can see that here in the hierarchy, if you click here in the scene, you can see that we have a main camera. And here in the inspector, you can see the components that the main camera has. And what we're going to do is that we're going to create a new sprite. So go here to the project view and right click and select create and let's hit where it says sprites and square so now hit enter and we have created a square sprite so now if you if you click and drag the square to the hierarchy you will create a, a game object automatically unity will create a game object for you with a transform component and a sprite render component so now let's transform this square into our paddle so tra to transform it let's select the square and here in the inspector in the scale let's change the scale to 0.5 and let's change the scale, the scale on the y-axis to 2.5 like this and now if you select the square object we you can press w on the keyboard and you can drag or you can move it with these guides that appear here in, in the scene so just move it to the right and move it to the position 7 7.25 you can set it up from here from the inspector so 7.25 on the x-axis so the pattern is just right next to the border of the camera as you can see whatever we put in here inside the boundaries of the camera is what we're going to see here in the game view so that's the reference that you have that whatever you have here inside the camera is what you will see in the game view okay so now let's rename this because we don't want it to be square so so let's rename let's select the name here in inspector and let's rename this to right to right paddle like this and we will select this right paddle and we will hit ctrl d on the keyboard and we can name this left paddle all right so we can drag the left paddle to the left and position it manually but it's better if we position it from here from the position let's set the position to minus 7.25 like this and so you can see that we have the paddle so far now we can create the ball so to create the ball let's drag the square from the project to the hierarchy and you can see that the ball is going to be too big let's rename it first of all to ball so ball and now we can change the scale on the x-axis on the x-axis to 0 0.5 and we can change the scale on the y-axis to 0 0.5 like this and you can see that the ball is hiding behind the camera icon so to make the camera icon very very small what we can do is that we can drag the game view to the right like this i click here where it says gizmos and here it says 3d icon so just light slide to the left slide the, the slider all the way to the left and you can see that we can no longer see the the camera icon all right so now we hit play you can see that nothing happens we have set our sprites in the game but nothing is happening so we're gonna make the ball move but we're going to do that in the next video